So talking, talking about intelligence, you know, just the liver alone runs more than 500 functions and it can do that simultaneously. So uh, here we are having this incredible intelligence that we are dismissing it most of the time that is sending me messages through my feelings and physical sensations. When I have a negative feeling, first of all, don't demonize it. It's not wrong. You are supposed to feel that because you are receiving a message. The message is something very important for you is not being met at this moment. So inquire, investigate, do the internal research. Am I betraying myself? I'm saying no when I want to say yes or 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 oh. the other way. I'm saying yes when I want to say no. Uh, that's yeah. something that's something that um, is really simple and that often gives us a very strong message. Um, I can think of examples when oh when am I going to learn because you know you know that um, in saying yes to something that maybe you should have said no to you're not actually being true to yourself. Yeah, you're betraying yourself, you're compromising your truth, then you feel horrible, uh, then you feel resentful or guilty or whatever. And then yeah. It sort of all implodes. And this part this is part of the emotional education that is missing in our culture. We have years of academic education. Yes. Since we are, you know, four or five years old until sometimes we are tw in, in our 20s, and then we keep studying, <laughs> we keep reading, yeah? Yeah, and we keep, oh, and we do more courses, and now we have the internet, yeah. we have even so, more and more places yeah, to more, find More, 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 more information, more food for the, for the head, yeah. yeah? We're walking heads, but how long uh, is our emotional education? Did, did we learn about relationships? about how to deal with conflict, about how to set boundaries, about our feelings. Do we know what feelings are? What they are good for? What's the value of them? How can we use them? We're in relationships all the time. We don't know how to deal with relationships. We don't know how to deal with confrontations. So w we suffer and we are in turmoil most of the time because we don't have tools. If we give tools to our kids, to the teenagers, they're gonna go into life more empowered. It's not just rational education that we need. We need emotional education. We need body education. We were told the body is a bag of bones. <laughs> it's shameful. It's dirty. You know, is the is is the is the is the foundation of all our problems. It's not true. The body is a masterpiece. And it needs to be honored, it needs to be embraced, and it needs to be included in the game of our life. We cannot be just rational minds deciding our life, because a rational mind is just 5% of who we are, and the rest what? So what you're saying, Lois, there is what the, one of the things that, you know, is a lot of people um, stress is self-care is very important. Taking care of ourselves um, empowers us to be able to um, affect society and become a better person mm -hmm. in the world. So what you're talking about, that if we can, and this is one of my passions as well, that if we can educate at a younger age um, and, we yeah. and we open up these opportunities to more people, that Absolutely. is going to really make a difference in the world. Validating, validating our children's feelings, mm. you know, telling them don't be afraid, don't mm. cry, don't get angry. No, that's, <laughs> that's actually, you are killing their, their, yeah. their inner sensor, mm. their radar. Mm. You are destroying the radar. Then they become, you know, they become with all these uh, certificates and diplomas and degrees, but they have low self-esteem, low self-confidence. They, they need to spend half of their salary in the, in the psychotherapist. <laughs> and we know, that that, we know that there, from what you're saying and from what I know, there are so many more simpler ways to release and to improve your self-esteem um, <clears throat> uh, and, and empower oneself that 
can be done very quickly rather than um, weeks and weeks and, say in some cases, years and years in therapy. Well, yeah, but again, you know, we need to get out of the ignorance mm. and, and get this education that is pending. It's a pending business in our uh, cultural system. Uh, emotional education is, is key. Without it, there is no way we're going to get very simple things like inner peace, harmony, freedom, and health. Very simple things. It's not so complicated. We think it is. Why? Because we are doing the opposite of what we are supposed to do. Mm. When you have a feeling, feel it, instead of trying to get rid of it. Pretty basic. Something that the baby does. So what we need, what you're saying is people need to make it okay to feel. It's okay. Okay, and it's good to feel good. Feelings, feelings are meant to be honored, embraced, recognized, and allowed. So if you allow your uncomfortable feelings because they are actually guiding you, they are telling you what is important for you in life, at the same time you're going to be able to allow positive, good feelings because they are also telling you you're getting close to your goals and what is important for you. That's pretty much the language of feelings, mm -hmm. how to use it right away. Therefore, don't tell a child not to feel because when you tell a child not to feel, you are killing their, their sensory system mm -hmm. and then they get totally confused and they need someone else to tell them what to do with their lives. Yeah. And this is what happens with most of adults. People go around asking, what do you think of this? I'm thinking of getting married. What do you think of that? I'm thinking of moving. What do you think of that? It's like there is no certainty because we are disconnected from our sensory system. So we need to really get in touch with that inner being. And that's how, um, through doing this, we achieve the inner peace as well. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Inner peace is, is our birthright. I like that. I think that, and it yeah. is, that's so it's true. Something, mm. It's not something alien, you know. Mm. Um, we are designed. But when you do the opposite of what you are designed for, if you are designed to feel and you suppress your feelings, well, of course you're not, not going to feel good. It doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank. You're not going to feel good. Because you're doing the opposite of what you're designed for. So that's why I wrote this book. For, for people to become aware, that's the first step, becoming aware. Yeah. Without that step, there is no change possible. So for people to become aware, uh, what is behind these patterns that they keep repeating, they, they keep coming back uh, at, at, at all the levels? relationship level, financial, professional, health. It's like it, it keeps happening the same. I keep attracting the same kind of situation. They keep mm. the same kind of, of partners or relationships or jobs mm. or money situation. Why I'm stuck into this and no matter what I do, no matter how many affirmations I, 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 I say <laughs> per day, I still doing the same thing, uh, you know? Yeah, that's Why? right. Uh, doing because the same thing, expecting a different result. And it doesn't yes. happen. Mm. Yes. Mm. So there are two things that are very well explained in the book. One is the, what, I, what I call the emotional goo that gets stuck in our body when we suppress it, you know, yeah. when you suppress anger, mm. when you mm. suppress fear or sadness, you know, no grieving. It's so important to go through the grieving process when you lose something important for you. In our culture, we don't grieve. You know, people tell you, okay, you know, get over that. And, and that's the way we resolve that, yeah? That's so right. Grieving is very important. I learned that myself. You know, when I lost my wife, mm. I found myself, oh, my God, this is a mountain of pain. What am I going to do with this? Mm. If I do what i seen my clients doing, I'm going to get sick. That is suppression, yeah? That's right. And if I feel this, this is going to be so much but I had to feel it because I have three kids to raise. Mm. So uh, I don't want to get sick and I don't want to die young, you know. They're still <laughs> young. 
kill me. Yeah. yeah you've so, got to, and you have a lot of work to do in the world as well. So that's that's actually how I learn all this because mm-hmm. in going into my my feelings, I realize wow, there is actually a transformation here happening, and it was the most empowering thing it ever happened to me. Uh, therefore. Uh, it's very important to get in touch with the emotional goo in the body and move it, release it. Mm-hmm. And then go upstairs and find out what are the beliefs that I have that are creating emotional goo. Mm-hmm. Because each time I think I'm stupid, nobody loves me, I'm alone here, uh, everybody is out there to get me, or whatever are the beliefs that we have that are very popular, like I'm unworthy, <laughs> one of the most <laughs> popular beliefs. I, I'm not good now. Beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. And so what so, you're saying is we feed, we keep feeding that emotional goo. I love it. What yeah. a wonderful term. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So each time you think toxic thoughts, you create emotional toxicity in your body. So a two a two step dance to really get better and have a more empowering life. One, release the emotional toxicity in your body. Two deactivate the beliefs that create emotional toxicity in the first place. Those two things need to happen together. Mm -hmm. It's not about releasing, releasing, releasing. I've done that. I've seen it. You release a lot of emotional toxicity, but you never go up here to see what is creating it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this thing keeps creating it. Mm -hmm. So you become an addict of emotional release. That's not the complete answer. And when you make changes in your belief system and you don't release the emotional toxicity, the emotional good, you are doing half of the work Mm. because this toxicity is like a magnet. It keeps attracting toxicity. Mm. If I have a lot of anger stuck in my body, I'm going to attract angry situations, angry people, accidents. I'm going to get angry easily. It doesn't matter how much I change my beliefs. So if we don't do the two things at the same time or, you know, like a pace by pace Mm. work, and they actually work together. And I explain that in my book uh, in detail so that people understand really how to do it. Well, I think that's fantastic. And I think that um, I can see that people are going to actually get a lot of value um, from your book, I hope. Mm. Yeah, I hope and so. also um, on your website, I think there's other um, information that people can get as well. Yeah, people can go to memoryinthecells.com, mm. and there they are gonna find all the information they need to know about um, all the activities we are doing around the launch day that is on October fifth, two thousand and ten. And before the uh, October 5th, we have a free a three-day tele-summit with a group of experts in the field. And after October 5th, we have a, a free two-day online course that I'm going to teach uh, how to use the book, how to use the technique, how to, how to apply what is in the book to your life. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, that is wonderful. Yes. So people yeah, will buy the that, book and then they'll be able to do um, an online course with you. Yes. That is fantastic. Yes. I can see that. If they, if, they, if they get the book on October 5th, that is the gift from me oh. for them, for, the, for their support. And if they go to memoryinthecells.com, they, they just register there and then they will receive all the information they need to know uh, even after the launch day. Oh, that's fantastic, Lewis. This has been um, both very inspiring and informative uh, for me as well. And I love talking with people who think along the same lines. So it's been delightful to talk with you today. Thank you very much. Same here. Thank you very much. This has been Susie Chill today talking with spiritual author Lewis Angel Diaz from Susie Chill dot com.